All right, guys, here we are back on the boat again doing another maintenance uh, on the uh, prop right below here. If you uh, can see, I don't know if you can see it there. There is a little bit of oil that is coming down from the edge of the uh, prop and the outdrive there. And uh, that only tells us that uh, we have a um, prop seal that is leaking oil. So there's a seal right behind here. And we're gonna take this part right now to get to it. So stay tuned and here we go. All right, here's the situation we have. Uh, we have a gear lube reservoir that we replaced, uh, not actually replaced, we fixed it up because it was leaking inside the engine compartment. Uh, that's under one other video that we did uh, prior and uh, the problem is that when that is going low the alarm sounds off to alert you that there is a problem there's a leak somewhere uh, the first time it was a leak inside the engine compartment the holes that came from the uh, um, the reservoir into the outdrive uh, came off and it was leaking inside the bilge that was the first time now the second time if that alarm goes off again after you fix that then you have to check on your outdrive to make sure there's not a leak on the outdrive side uh, in my case here now we just found oil on the bottom of the outdrive where the prop meets so there's that means there's a leak there as well and right inside there there is a seal that's called the prop seal and uh, we're going to get to that point now so we're going to take apart the props and get to the they call it the bearing carrier so once we take that out the the uh, seal is in there we're going to pop that out put the new seal in and uh we'll see how it goes so stay tuned all right right here we have everything that we're going to use in this project we need some oil to replace again because once you take the seal off all the oil in the uh, outdrive is going to come out and uh, we're going to need a special set of tools here to um, hit the new seal back in place you're going to need this tool here this is a special tool for uh, uh, taking out the bearing carrier uh, this is right here the seal this is what we're replacing right here and uh, you're going to need a little pump set to be able to put pump the um, gear loop back into the outdrive afterwards. And you're going to need a Torx breaker bar to get this all done. And uh, we're also going to use a little vise here. Um, actually, not that little. It's a four and a half vise so we could hold the carrier once we've taken out the uh, bearing. Uh, not the bearing, but the uh, seal. And uh, you will use one of these Allen wrenches to take off the uh, anode from the prop. So stay tuned in. Here we go. All right, we're now ready to take off that bolt there. And what we're using is a uh, 1716 socket. Um, without this, you can't take this big giant bolt here. So you may have to go and purchase one of these. And by the way, all the tools that we use here, you'll have the description and the link for all these tools that we're using for your convenience. So you all you do is just click on the on the link there and it'll take you where we bought it at and uh, you could uh, buy it right there. wasn't too hard to take out although we taken it out before it's clean in there so it, it, it should come out pretty easy if you give it the maintenance uh, you also need to use a, a piece of wood up here so the prop won't turn and that way you, you're able to unscrew that there all you have to do once you take that nut off is you just pull it right out and if you give it the uh, maintenance we do uh, you, you should be able to take them out easy without any trouble okay the next one we're gonna do you want to take off the the, uh, the other prop, the, the rear one, 
but before that we have a little grommet here that we're, take, we're taking out and then this big bolt right here we need a special tool which is this huge socket right here it's a real huge one and uh, there will be a, a link in the description for this tool as well and this is the one that goes in there now to take that big giant nut out okay that is seating well there now we're going to get the uh, the uh, breaker bar and of course we need that piece of wood to hold the prop in place all right Yeah, you gotta put this on the other direction here so it holds it. Okay, go ahead and try it there. There you go. Yeah, and again, if you give it service, it's gonna be easy to come out. If you haven't serviced something like this for many, many, many years, it may give you a little trouble or it may not. So it just depends. It's a lot of threads there, but it'll come out probably any second now. There you go. There it is right there. All right, and that's that big nut right inside there. Show me. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, now we have this section here. Now we're pulling out the second prop. And that should just come out easy. Let me just take the wood out of place here. And that's that there. Okay, and then this part here, that's the uh, bearing carrier. That's what we need to take off next, and that's going to be the hardest one because we've never taken this one out before. And the uh, seal is sitting right in there. And uh, you can see the grease on my finger there that's coming out from in there. And that's because that seal is not good anymore. And of course, it lasted a long time because it's 19 years old. So it lasted pretty good. Okay, the way we have it here, you can see all the grease. We use uh, lithium uh, marine grease for this whole shaft here. And uh, one of the things you have to take off is this little grommet here, right there. That's the, the number one. And then the second one is up back here. This may be a little bit more, we have, I may need a little screwdriver to work that one out. Then that one comes out and then we're ready to take out the bearing carrier. Okay, here you wanna be careful. You don't wanna touch, even though this one's already damaged and you can see all the oil spilling all the way around here. And uh, all you have to do is just pry it a little bit and it'll just budge. Everything, the only thing holding it in there is probably just salt corrosion that stays in there so before we put these back we're going to clean them up and re uh, grease them and now here we are this is the the biggie this is where the bearing seal is at right here a prop seal and this is what mess, messed up and this is where the oil should be coming down you see it right there right all the edge of this right here that's the spill right there so that's why we need to replace this seal right here all right here we go all right now that we're ready to take out the uh, bearing carrier we're supposed to take off the plug for the oil outdrive oil the top plug and the bottom plug down here so we're gonna take that out that's why we have a pan under there so that way when the oil comes out it'll go into that pan and not to the ground and then after that We'll go ahead and try taking out the bearing carrier. All right. Now, when you do have a leak on your outdrive, especially that uh, seal, you will get water in there because if the oil can come out, salt water is going to go back in. And I can see a little bit of salt water by the color the milky color it looks like coffee and cream uh, you, there's a little bit of that in there so I'm glad that uh, we caught this on time because now we're gonna clean it all out 
and put that new seal in place. All right, here's that big boy right there. I even just tried it and there's oil inside there all over the place. This big boy just goes in through here and it's gonna grab on these slots. You can see here, if you wanna bring it over here, you can see these slots right here. You're gonna put those teeth inside that slot there. And the important thing here is that this thread is opposite. So that means lefty loosey, righty tighty won't work here. You have to use it the other way. So if you're gonna loosen it, you have to go opposite direction. So here, here we go. All right, let's get ready for that. We ran into a little issue here and uh, the carrier here screwed into the out drive. It's been there for 19 years. It's never been taken off. Now, it was difficult to turn it in our case. And I'm sure if you have something similar to like this, it's gonna be difficult too. So what we did is we clean the edge where the thread starts, right at the edge, we clean it all out and we used good old WD-40. We sprayed it on the top and let it run down all around the edge where it's bolted to. And we got a hammer and we hit it several times to the direction of unscrewing it. Remember, this is opposite, so you have to hit it the proper way, the right direction. Now, once we hit it a few times with the, um, the hammer, then we tried again with the torque and we were able to get it loose. So that's your secret right there. So if you have problems taking out the uh, bearing carrier, stop what you're doing, clean the edge where it unscrews from, put some WD-40 and hit it with the hammer, the direction to unscrew. All right, and that's the secret there. And, and we got it loose now, so we're gonna go ahead and continue. Yeah, it was a little difficult, but um, it wasn't impossible. For a minute there, I thought uh, we ran into more issues that we can chew on, but uh, we defeated it, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off now. There we go. It's coming. Alright, I think we finally got it. There we go. And this is not good. I can see. Oh my god. You see all that there, people? If you see what's here, look at this. That right there, sea life, is barnacles all over this whole edge here. It's incredible. Look at that. You can see it all in there. At the beginning, it scared me because I thought it was pieces of metal but it's actually barnacles. Wow, I've never seen this before. Incredible. All right, uh, what we're doing is we're trying to clean it down. And this is what happens. You can see right there, these holes right there, they go through to this side here. This side here sits inside the, um, the out drive and this seal here seals it for the oil not to come out to this side here. Now, what happens is a lot of little sea life and barnacles come in through here and they attach themselves all the way around this thing. And I, I tell you, this is 19 years worth of barnacles all over the place. And I'm glad we did this now because that could have been a problem later on, you yeah. know? But anyway, it doesn't look too bad. Everything else looks good. And uh, over here, this freaked me out at the beginning because I thought it was pieces of metal coming from inside there. And look at this bunch of barnacles. It's incredible. This is the reason why we have to do a lot of um, maintenance on these things. So you won't have those kind of problems. Now in there, in the shaft, I see pieces of barnacle that fell in there. So we have to clear all that out before we put that carrier back in place incredible all right next step after we clean the carrier 
um, now we're getting ready to put it on the vise here and you see all the way down there I don't know if you can see my finger well we're gonna hit it on this little edge here and push out the uh, seal that's the next thing we're gonna do I think that's where it's at right there the other side now got to hit it one side and then hit it the other so that way it comes out evenly is it moving? I don't know feels like it is something just moves there it slips out yeah, it's pretty stuck in there it's in there but little by little we'll get it out all right we finally took off the old seal that's it right there this is the outside part and this is the inside part. This lip here at the inside, we're gonna reuse to put this lip on top of the new seal so we can hit this old seal rather than hitting the new seal and, and damaging it. So we're gonna use the inside lip, which is this one right here, on top of the new seal to hit it down. Now, before you do all that, you have to get the whole bearing carrier make sure you clean it out from debris pieces of uh, shell whatever it's in there you have to all clean it out keep it nice and clean and, uh, and then you're ready to install the new seal the seal is gonna sit right on this edge here and you can see that little piece the lip sticking out all the way around that lip there that's where the seal the new seal has to sit on so you're gonna bang it in until it hits on that little lip all the way around and it's gonna be flush at this end here so we're ready to do that next all right we're getting ready this is the new seal on the bearing carrier and this little section here is we're going to use to put it on top of that one so that way we don't hit or damage any of this stuff here so we're going to use this right there and then we're going to use this little press bearing uh, seal uh, driver or, or it, it, I think they use it also for uh, bearings uh, we're going to use it for the seal in this case but it looks almost the same and we're going to put that on top there as even as we can and then this top portion right there we are going to hit it with the hammer until we get that seal all the way down seated in place ready oh. A little bit more. One more time. Sorry, I think it's in all the way. Check. All right, we just gotta check. No, it's a little bit. It needs to go in a little further than that. You can see the spacing inside. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit of spacing before that lip, so it goes in a little further until it seats on right, that lip go. there. All right, here we go. Check it out. Let's check it out. In. How's it look now? I can't see where it's seated from here. Yeah, I, from here you can't see too well, but let's double check that and I think it's fine all right we're done we just um, punched it down here and it's in place it's seated in there solid and we're ready to reinstall it on the shaft prop shaft so we're done now the worst part that we had out of all this is unscrewing this because it's been 19 years on the uh, out drive but uh, we found the, the little trick there we showed you earlier and, and that helped and it worked instantly and uh, the other thing that we had a lot of problems was taking out the old seal and if you you can see here we had to really bang this side here a lot uh, actually this side here and then this side here the other side is the one we used to bang and use this one over the uh, new one so we won't mess up the new one and uh, but it came out pretty well it wasn't really that bad now the new seal went in really easy uh, we just banged it maybe 
eight to ten times until it's seated solid and we're done. So now we're ready to reinstall. All right, here's something that's super, super important. That's the same way we clean that carrier, we have to clean everything inside in there. And if you can see right here, little pieces of barnacles that fell in there when we took it off. You have to make sure that there's nothing in there. Everything has to be cleared up. There's no debris or anything solid in there because that will mess up everything. And then you will have a bigger problem in the future. So everything has to be cleaned out. So you can put, before we put in the um, bearing carrier. All right, over here, what we're gonna do is wanna get a little bit of the grease, not the grease, but the oil, the, the um, out drive oil. I'm gonna put some on my finger and I'm gonna lubricate the new seal all the way around before we put the uh, carrier back in place. And so far, that's the only thing that uh, we saw that uh, needed to be done. It's just lubricate the seal all the way around. And that's what we just did. So we're ready to install it on the shaft now. All right, so we're ready to put this in the bearing carrier back in place. We already cleaned all in there, make sure all the debris is out. And we're ready to put this back in there. And remember, the thread is opposite, it's the, the, uh, uh, the other way. So to tight is to the right and to loosen is to the left. But in this case, tight is to the left. So we're gonna turn it to the left, make sure we don't cross thread or anything. All right, here we are now getting ready to tighten up. And the specs to tighten, once you put it in there, make sure you don't cross thread or anything, but you'll feel it once it catches and then it won't pull out anymore. But uh, the, the uh, uh, specifications for the uh, foot pounds is 150. But since this tool here is, has an offset, it uh, dials up to 126 foot pounds. So that's what we're doing it now. So we're tying it up to 126 foot pounds, which should be the equivalent with the offset of 150 torque which is the spec. Okay, we got that in there. Now we put this one in there. Okay, seat it all the way back in there. Perfect. All right, now we're ready for that big nut that goes here. Here, just make sure you don't cross thread this. And the taper side of the nut goes in against the prop there. It has the same shape. You can't miss that. this uh, like that and then this one this prop in the middle right there All right perfect now we're ready for the uh, big nut here I'm gonna torque this one to spec think they're all right yeah yeah, yeah. I'm going to torque this one to spec. There we go. All right, that one's torqued to spec. And now the um, anode is our next little item here. And that one goes right in the middle here. Now, if you want any information on the torque specs on these uh, screws on the prop you go to the video that I mentioned earlier I'll have a link in the description there so you can go see that and give you the details on all the specs uh, for the uh, torquing of these nuts
All right, guys, we're completely done with the uh, prop seal replacement. Now we just gotta watch and make sure there's no other leaks. It's nice and dry at the moment. Everything's working perfectly. We put back the uh, shield under here. And also we replaced all the oil in there because when you do that, the, all the oil is gonna fall out and it's gonna come out. So we replaced all the uh, gear oil in there and um, everything is ready to go. So we're just gonna go ahead and test it out this weekend and we'll see how everything goes. For, for now, everything is done, completed. We're all satisfied. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if anything here helps you, please like the video. And if you like our videos, please subscribe. It'll help us. Thank you so much for watching this video. Peace. Now is a great time to like and subscribe. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button below. It's free and you'll be part of the Keys Boating Channel family. Thanks so much for your support.